Wait, have you got your homework? Oh my gosh, you went without your homework, you big Egypt. Oh. This generation's little smiling stuff looks so funny as a puppy. Honestly, it just really does. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very Challenge in our very own little mini baby. Oh, hello. Uh, Why can I still not remember names after all this time? What is your name? Celia. Celia. Okay, let's start this again. In our very own little teeny tiny uh, plum house, we have a little Celia outside the door. This episode is gonna be full crack my knuckles, get ready, stretch, roll my shoulders, full on grinding vibes because we are trying to do five years worth of uni, four years worth of uni in one year. We're gonna be trying to do everything we possibly can to try and get our grades as high as we can. We're only doing four modules because I've downloaded a mod that lets me do uni in a less amount of time, but we still have to do a lot of work. We've only got a week to do it. So it's gonna be really tough. We're doing biology at Foxbury Institute. We're doing it from home because I really want it to be in this teeny tiny home. And honestly, I've done uni a few times. I also did it with Scala as part of the rose section of the Not So Berry Challenge. I just didn't really want to go to uni again. So we're not gonna be doing that with our plum sim, who is of course little Lila, who is in her teeny tiny home with her new little bob haircut. And oh my gosh, beautiful big Cecilia has come to come and clean for us. She's probably like, why don't you have any chairs? Honestly, why don't I have any chairs? Cause I have 400 pounds. I could definitely have some chairs, but um, I really wanna get onto the next part of Lila's life, which is gonna be going to hospital um, as a doctor. And then eventually going into the entertainment's career. So for now, we're just kind of grinding our little butts off to try and get to that moment. And I also decided with these, I think pink is closer to plum than blue is. And I just, I like the pink, so I'm gonna go back. But yeah, today's episode is gonna be about trying to get as close to finishing this week of uni as I possibly can so we can get our doctor on in the next episode and start to meet some of our doctor co-workers as well. So if you guys are excited, please, please, please show this video some love. I'm really glad you guys are still enjoying this Not So Berry Challenge because I'm still really, really enjoying it and I get really excited knowing that I'm gonna be recording it for you guys. So I'm glad you guys love it. Oh, such Sam is here as well. You guys love it. I love it. It's all just good times. And as always, please comment your suggestions below for what you would like to see when we go into the doctor's career. How far do you want me to take it? Do you want me to try and get her all the way up to level 10? Or have you tried this challenge yourself and you know that that's a bit unrealistic? How how should I play it? I want to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comments below. And it's great that we've got all of our family here that really want to come and clean for us. Very sweet. I think I'll make them some lunch because I need to try and max out my cooking skill as part of this challenge. We got to get eight skills to level no, level eight and six skills. Cooking is one of the ones we're working on. We're currently on level six, so we're doing a pretty good job of cooking. Cooking is kind of an easy one to max out though, because you end up cooking a lot in this game. Oh, and she did finish her homework. Oh, I have a mod that makes homework faster. Otherwise it literally takes all day. So I'm very glad about that. And oh my gosh, this is the thing about having a family full of neat sims. They just come and clean your whole house. <laughs> Imagine moving into a new place and your family will come to visit. They know you're working really, really hard. So they just like clean your whole place for you. I don't know. I think that's so freaking cute. It's something that I know my mom would do. So I don't know. I really, really like it. I think it's very adorable. The one thing they don't clean though is the um, stinky glass. So that is interesting. And I try to use all conversations as a way to boost skills. So brightening Saj Sam's day. One, it's impossible because he is Saj Sam. But two, it will increase my charisma. I'll also say, wow, that outfit I've never changed you out of since I introduced you to the series. Looks real nice on you. Saj Sam, I probably should give him a new outfit. I did give Celia a new outfit. I saw you guys asking about that in the comments of the last video. So she's not dressed as a minion anymore, which is real nice. I can also discuss logic puzzles. Enthuse about guitar solos, because he did give us a guitar for our birthday. We were like, oh, we don't care about stupid guitars. I'm going to be a doctor, not an entertainer. But he knows what we want in our hearts. Saj Sam understands you guys. And discussing fitness technique, I think helps me with fitness. Basically, I'm just doing everything I possibly can to try and boost my skills while I'm talking. Everything is the grind. Our whole life right now is a grind. Yep, there we go. Level six charisma. See, this is why I do it, guys. It makes sense. Trust me. The other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is another bit of homework. So I finished the CSI tree into forest pathology. Well, now I'm going to do the sunlight cycle, photosynthesis, chlorophyll, plants. Obviously, something that I quite like. 
Oh, and we forgot to change the lights. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and change the lights for you guys real quick. We are on plum. So of course we need our background to include some plum lighting. There we go. Okay, so she's kind of leaving her thumbs downstairs to keep on cleaning, which they most definitely are. Whilst we go upstairs and smash through our homework, we've got two classes tomorrow. No, one class tomorrow. And then three classes the next day. We also have two of these like board assignments. We've already started on one. It's looking fine, but we'll make it look better. Are we just throwing our homework on the floor so we can dance? Is that actually happening? No, that is not happening. Do your next set of homework and do your next set of homework. Thank you very much. And Ly Ly Lila is non-committal. These Sims grow tense from stability, be it in their relationship or career. Infuse change often. That's definitely gonna happen. In fact, that's kind of the theme for this whole part of the challenge. And I'm the opposite. I am a cozy person. I find things that I like and I stick to them. I find hobbies I like. Well, actually, I flick between hobbies, but I tend to quite enjoy stability. Hi, sweetie. I'm trying to cooking something new. Do you mind coming over to check it when it's done? <laughs> I'm a big fan of stability and things staying the same. I find it makes life less stressful. I kind of realized as I got older that that is just my vibe, but Lila is the opposite. So I'm going to be experiencing the opposite of how I vibe in this series, which I'm kind of looking forward to. The whole point of the Not So Berry Challenge is it tests you. It makes you play Sims in ways that you wouldn't usually play the Sims. So I'm kind of excited to experience all of that. And I'm not enjoying the fact that we're just throwing the homework on the floor. Like at least put it on the dresser or something, you know? Oh, and why is this happening? Why are you doing little baby pukies? <laughs> what, 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 what? Are you pregnant? No, she's not. We're all good. My Sims need to stop doing that. Lila did it last episode too. Why are they doing that? And I also really wanted to set the main family to Unplayed now, but I also don't really want Ash to have, Ash and Sam to have any more kids. Like, that's enough. So I might wait until they become elders. It's in seven days. Once they become elders, then I will set that fat household to Unplayed and everyone will just vibe out and do their own thing. And oh my gosh, they literally want her there all the time. Sheila's like, why don't you come over here and hang out? They're not really handling Lila moving out very well. They are constantly being like, I'll come over, you'll come over. Like she might be this like non-committal wanting to go out and live her own life kind of vibes, but her family are desperately clinging on, like desperately trying to make her not that way. Okay, and she's back to playing a bit of guitar. She's getting pretty good. I think she's just naturally pretty good at this whole entertainment vibe stuff, but the rivalry, the rivalry with Brother Brenton, which kind of makes him sound like a priest, but that's what's kind of driving her to go into the medicine career. He's a doctor at the mustard clinic. And I'm gonna get her just to refine, do a bit of tidying on this before we head to bed. I'm liking these two little plant pictures. Let's see what she does. Let's see what she comes up with. This looks like it was, it's cute, but it does look like it was drawn by a nine year old. So any improvements on that would be great. <gasps> wow. Okay, Solani, love that. And Celia just got promoted. Wanna celebrate with me? Oh my gosh, just let me move out. It's Ace, you got promoted, very happy for you. But please just let me live my life, babes. And it's our first day going into classes. Obviously I'm not gonna be going in with her, but she will be heading in. So I'm sending her for a jog before our class. One, cause I want to improve her fitness, but two, cause you know what they say, healthy body, healthy mind. And Vernon has aged up in, oh wow, someone's trying to steal my plum vibe. I see you Vernon, I see you. Plus I want her to have the high fitness skill. That's one of the skills we're gonna try and max out. And it's also pretty helpful for the entertainment career too. So I'm gonna get her to sing in the shower, building our singing skill. This is just like basically a guide at this point on how to max out as many skills as you possibly can. And our class starts in one hour. What's our first class? Building with cells. Exciting. Look how well cared for my sims are when there's one. I can manage one sim like really well. I can't manage a bunch of sims. Like I just find it really hard. One sim is good for me. That's a good level for me. Like six and everyone's starting to pee on the floor. Let me know what your ideal number of sims per household is in the comments below. <gasps> and we're going to class. Wait, have you got your homework? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you went without your homework, you big Egypt. Oh. Okay, so I never truly know what to do here, but I feel like if I spend half the class actively listening and then the other half taking notes, I feel like it's a good way to try and maximize out like performing well in class. I've tried doing the chat with students, but I don't think it actually introduces her to any other people on her course. Like it's annoying. I've tried it a few times. It just doesn't seem to work. So there's not much point in me doing that. And she thought she squeezed everything out of that class that she could. Good 
should work. Okay, let's keep working on this presentation for now. Surin wants to come over and hang out. Okay, can I present this to Surin? I wanna see if he lets me try and present this to him. Not the most fun way for a child to spend their time, not gonna lie. Look how cute Surin with his little bug coming over. You are so adorable, honestly. How are you doing, little bro? How are things at school? How are your little grades? And now let me see if I can try and use you for skill boosting. I'm sorry, kiddo. Ooh, I can try and teach him about responsibility as well. <gasps> oh. So yeah, this is her little brother. He is absolutely adorable. He is Saj Samson. And obviously Lila is Vernon, who is Ash's first partner. Well, not first partner, but first like super serious having children with partner who died, unfortunately. And they've just become good friends. Is this going to be a situation where when you lived together in the same house, there was too many Sims for me? to focus on you guys having a good relationship but now that you're like uh living out i can try and make you guys more adorably sibling bonded yes i think that's gonna be the case this is so cute okay i do have class in now though sir and so need to take your little cuteness and bring it back home again and oh my gosh we're doing our homework together this is so cute yes love this you even kind of got matching hair doing your homework together that is very adorable and now ash honey it's mom when are you gonna come visit i thought my love and effort into raising you. You could at least come around once in a while. Ah, uh, I'll visit you tomorrow, mom. I got classes. I'm literally in the hardest week of my life and you're not making it any easier. Oh, and I gotta go to class. I'm sorry, bro. Bye. Maybe he'll still be here when I get back, but maybe not. Okay, let's actively listen. And now let's switch to taking notes. Oh, and while I'm out, he's wrecking. He's literally wrecking. Wow. Can I tell him off for that? Please don't do that. So rude. This is my house. Time for you to go home, kiddo. Oh, and I've still got my part-time job. Oh my gosh, the poor girl. I've still got my part-time job. So I'm working as a fry cook. I need to get this to level three. Even though it already gave me that, I still want to try and get like up to level three. So we're going to keep working at our part-time job. Also, it's our only source of income right now. Despite the fact that we got a bunch of like bursaries and stuff for uni, I do still need some income. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hello. Hello. Look at this. Very nice. It looks perfect. Good job. And a little sing song before we head into work. And the work starting at 5 p.m. actually like works with uni perfectly. So very happy about that. However, her fun is looking kind of tragic right now. Yeah, she's pretty tense. Her life is just work, work, work. <gasps> Promoted to food service cashier. Okay, so we've reached level three in the food, well, in the fast food career. So that's pretty awesome. But she's exhausted. She's come home and gone straight to bed. Her life, I mean, like I said, we always knew this part was going to be grindy, but it really is grindy. And we're waking up at 2 a.m. for noodles. This is very student vibes. Ramen at 2 a.m. That is, I mean, she's done this on her own, but I feel like she... She knows. She's channeling real student life very, very well, despite the fact that she's living in her very nicely decorated home that looks nothing like uni halls, let's face it. <gasps> and Sam has aged up into an elder. <gasps> I probably can set them to unplayed then, so that's pretty perf. Hey, sweetie, do you want to come see your mom for a little while? Okay, because I need to go and sort out the appearance. And also, I will probably change Saj Sam a little bit now that he's an elder. Oh, and it's a full-on thunderstorm. Okay, great. One thing that I do find about the Not So Very Challenge is that previously I really hated aging up Sims and making them look old because I was so attached to them. I was still in the household with them and I hated seeing these Sims that I like loved so much becoming elders. But I find that with Not So Berry, I actually am so much more comfortable with making my old Sims look old because I'm already like moving on with the next gen. So yeah, it just works a lot better for me. Okay, so I'll make Sarge, some look a little bit older, a little bit wiser, a little bit sadder, of course. Might give him like a little little grandpa jumper sort of vibes, or maybe like this kind of dealio. Oh yeah, he would definitely do this. He would definitely dress like this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I already made Ash look a little bit older, and she's not actually aged up into an elder yet. So I think she's okay. She is for now. But we've got a little bit of an older looking Saj Sam, and then for Vernon, who is aged up into a child. Here is how Vernon looked as a toddler. So 
I'll just go ahead and give her the same eyes. These ones right here. I don't actually hate the hair it's given her. I think that's like a natural... It looks like a natural progression, really. Like it has just grown out, which is very cute. So there we go. Some updates to this family. We're not really playing as them anymore, but that doesn't mean we can't show them a little bit of love and attention every now and again. And I've done it all in your sleep outfit. Good job, Claire. Your dad actually has the blonde hair. The blonde hair does look cute. You know what? If you want blonde hair, kiddo, the dad has blonde hair. Oh, okay, now it's ginger. <laughs> Why do my hair and eyes and oh my gosh, everything just does this. I'ma let her have the blonde hair. I think it looks really cute on her. So yeah, they've had a little uh, a little update. Let me know what you think of their updated appearance. Oh my gosh, my old dance mat. Why can't I put it in my inventory? It's literally mine. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna take some time to practice the piano because um, you can't put this in your inventory and bring it with you. I can't afford my own really yet. So um, for some reason, I got given two university acceptance letters. So I thought I'd give one to like Ash and Saj Sam because I think they'd like that. <laughs> and I've also practiced singing a bunch as well. I'm gonna tell my mom about my promotion. Then I'm ahead into my class. Hey, you actually visited us like you said you would. Oh, you're such a good kid. We love you. That's so cute. They actually recognize that we came around. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. I hope you feel the same way too. Being a good kid has actually paid off. However, I've got to bounce. I got to get to university. Come on. Class time, let's go! Oh my gosh, it takes so long to get off this lot as well. You have to run like 12 miles. And let's get actively listening. How can I hear you laughing and talking when you should be in class, girl? Oh, I only actively listened. I didn't take notes. I only get one shot at this. So I've got to start being more on it. I did this so often when I was in uni. I'd like forget to keep flicking between the two. But I really want to do a good job. And I know you're tense, but I need you to get on with all your homeworks again because I'm worried I've slipped back. Is asking us to join a university organization. And oh, I've got the single and loving it lifestyle. I'm not surprised because literally I don't think you've even blown a kiss at anyone. Which is rare for my Sims, but we're focusing real hard on the skill sets. So we ain't got time for blowing kisses. The only kisses we're blowing are our chlorophyll homework. And one thing I kind of want to do is I want to invite Brenton over to like practice my presentations. But I'm scared that like they don't like each other. I feel like he will just feed us. Oh, level four singing still from singing in the shower. Nice. I feel like he's just going to like feed us a load of false info. Like, yeah, so plants, people think that the chlorophyll is their energy source. It's not. It's actually just these little huts they wear. Like, I feel like he would do something like that. You know, they always pranking each other. She's now suddenly decided she can't reach them anymore. So I'm gonna put this in my inventory for a bit. Our bed's gonna shift over here just while we're in uni. And we'll start this one off before we head to sleep. I know it's late, but we gotta do what we gotta do. This one is for building with cells. Okay, so I wake her up with some singing <laughs> to try and boost her happiness. Try and convince herself that this is fine. This isn't sort of lonely and a little bit sad. It's all very much fine. We got class. And then I'm gonna invite Brenton over. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, actively listen, please. And let's take some notes. Fitness level eight. What? Oh, that's good for this. Nice. Oh, that class helps with fitness. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Right, then we will do it. We'll go ahead and invite Brenton over. We want him to... He might not come. He genuinely might not come. We want him to help us out. So I'm also going to cook him... Let's do some beef ramen because, you know, we'll stick into this whole uni student vibes diet. He's actually coming over. Okay, he's coming over. He's coming over. I feel like, honestly, Brenton needs an updated look as well. So I'm going to just whip into class again because, you know, he's like successful doctor vibes now. going to sweep his hair back and give him a bit of facial hair. He definitely looks a lot more gross. Up. You cooked one portion? Oh my gosh, this is not off to a good start, is it? I meant to do two portions, but I, I just made one. Okay, you, you may have it if you like. And um, we'll try to like find out what's going on in his life. Have a chit chat. Oh, and he's still a troll. He's still a troll. Can I do this? Yeah, ask for feedback. That's what I need to do. He's like looking around our tiny house being like, oh, oh no, hate this. Hate, hate this situation. Yeah, he's like doing a lot of staring around the house. Like, hmm. He's still our big brother. He's meant to help us out with stuff like this. We're gonna try presenting. Okay, he's definitely not loving it. What, is he just talking over us? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But I do want to try and bond. Eventually, I would like them to somewhat get along. So he's gonna try and help us. I mean, we just don't really see eye to eye, do we? We are literally acquaintances. Wow. Family frenemy. A rival sibling. I mean, definitely they are rival siblings. But he has given us some feedback. I feel like that went as well about as well as it could have done. He did definitely tease us a bunch. 
lunch. I feel like he left at our house, but he's always been that kind of big bro. I hope he stays because I, I never got to ask him if he was single or not. But I'm at class again. So please stick around. Yep, he is not helping us clean. He is just dancing in the hallway and checking himself out in the mirror. <laughs> it's because he's actually the most similar to Lila. That's why they don't get along. They're too similar. Okay, brilliant. He's still here. I'm seeing someone. Yes, I think he's still dating. Nice. This is really fun and all, but I have to go now. I thought you were going to help me with my other present. Oh. Branson. Why are you the things that you've chosen to be? I actually don't mind it though, because I think it's the first proper rival siblings I've ever had in Sims, so I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> and time for work again. And because there's no TV or anything fun, even a bookcase in a house, she sings and plays the guitar for entertainment, so it's actually helping a bunch with her skills as well. I'm gonna try and do my presentations today. They're both as good as they can be, so I'm gonna practice presenting both of them and then do them both today. I realized I got so lucky because neither of the courseworks required a PC to type on, which I wouldn't have had money for. Both of them are final exams and presentations, so oh, I looked out really hard there. This one we finished first. Let's go and do our final presentation. Good luck! I hope it goes okay! This is the one Brenson helped us out with. Helped us, you know. She's sad because she misses parties, but the parties are in her brain, okay? The parties are in your brain. It's biology parties. And as soon as she gets home, she's got to go to work. The poor lass. Alicia gets half an hour with sis before she goes. And okay, this is no surprise. We've unlocked the workaholic lifestyle. We have, however, got- We got a $2,000 bonus? What? How? 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 We, uh, we earned $30 an hour. Oh, it's because we essentially got a promotion. And they gave us two grand? I mean, I'll take it. It feels a lot, but I'll take it. And it says- I've still got three term days left. Okay. But some of my classes are in four hours. So I don't really know how this is going to go. And since she's done all the homework, I'm like, you know what? I'll bake some cookies. It's a skill. It's something fun to do. They look incredibly tasteless. But why not? Why not let me bake? And yes, a toilet is broken. So I can repair it, improve my handiness, and get parts to do more repairs. This is perfect. And I can actually start doing some upgrades now, which I need because if I get her into the doctor career and I upgrade the equipment, it means that I can do all of my doctor stuff faster. So yeah, I'm not going to lie. Her life's kind of boring at the moment. <laughs> but it's just while I get this uni bit out of the way, I just don't have time. <gasps> but you know what I do have time for? She wants to buy a pet food bowl. You know what I do have time for? Ah, uh, now I've got the money for. I want to adopt a dog. Okay, let's see what doggies they've got for adoption. I'm kind of vibing a big dog with her. None of these are really it. I'ma make one in Cass and say it's adopted. You guys have some suggestions for breed that would suit Lila, and I agree with you guys. So, there's two I've seen suggested. One is the Samoyed. I love these dogs. I think they're so happy and smiley looking. Pretty big dog, pretty barky very cute. The other is a husky, which obviously is very active, kind of wired. <laughs> They're both super cute dogs, but I love Sammies, so I think I'm gonna go for a smiling Sammy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a puppy. I genuinely don't think this dog is a good idea for a tiny house, personally, but we'll give you lilac eyes, because plum. And I am just gonna be calling it Pupper Berry for now, because I want you guys to suggest some names for Pupper in the comments below below. And here is how the little heckin' cute baby looks. And I want you guys to name this dog. So, let me know all of your name ideas in the comments below. I'm gonna be taking a look at what the most popular names that you guys came up with for this generation's little smiling stuff. Looks so funny as a puppy. Honestly, it just really does. I'm gonna be taking your guys' most popular naming suggestions. So let me know what you would like me to call a little smiling Sammy. I really, really wanted to uh, get all of the uni done in today's episode, but it just takes quite a long time to do a week in The Sims. So we will finish off and graduate in the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!